ओके ना एक्सप्लेन हेविसइड्स यूनिट स्टे फंशन आर् यूनिट स्टे फंशन हेविसइड्स यूनिट स्टे फंशन आर् यूनिट स्टे फंशन दिस इज डिफाइंड बै द फेमस मैथमेटीशियन आर् एलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर ओलिवर हेविसइड हि डिफाइन लाइक दिस द यूनिट स्टे फंशन इज डिफाइन आज H of T minus A, the first letter of the word, the name heavy side H, H of T minus A or U of T minus A is equal to zero if T less than A, one if T greater than A. So here afterwards we can denote the heavy side unit function or unit step function as H of T minus A or U of T minus A. This is the condition: zero if t less than a, one if t greater than a. Note number one: if a is equal to zero, u of t minus a becomes zero if t less than zero, and t is equal to u of t is equal to one if t greater than zero. Note number two: Laplace of u of t minus a is equal to e to the power of minus a s divided by s. Remember. Laplace of unit step function or Heaviside's unit function is equal to what means e to the power of minus a s divided by s. If note number three, if Laplace of f of t is equal to f bar of s, then Laplace of f of t minus a into u of t minus a is equal to e to the power of minus a s into f bar of s. Please remember this is very important. If Laplace of f of t is equal to f bar of s, f bar of s is nothing but Laplace of f of t. Then Laplace of f of t minus a into u of t minus a can be written as e to the power of minus a s into f bar of s. Otherwise, e to the power of minus a s into Laplace of f of t. Okay. Next, here is note number four. Expansion of discontinuous functions in terms of Heaviside's unit step function. Okay, please uh, see note number four: expansion of discontinuous functions in terms of Heaviside unit step function. Okay, if f of t is equal to f one of t for zero less than t less than a, f two of t is equal to zero less than t less than b, f three of t for t greater than b. If this function is defined like this, then what is the Unit step function or Heaviside unit function. Then uh, Heaviside unit step function or unit step function can be written as f of t is equal to f one of t plus f two of t minus f one of t into u of t minus a plus f three of t minus f two of t into u of t minus b. Please remember, whenever three functions are given like this, then uh, what is the unit step function means f of t is equal to f one of t plus f2 of t minus f1 of t into u of t minus a plus f3 of t minus f2 of t into u of t minus b if it is only two functions two functions f1 of t and f2 of t is given means zero less than t less than a and t greater than a then uh, that the unit step function can be written as f of t is equal to f1 of t plus f2 of t minus f1 of t into u of t minus a that's all three functions comes means third term will come four functions comes means fourth term will come okay i just gave you people up to three functions okay now we'll go for problems yeah now the first problem is given f of t is equal to e to the power of minus t for zero less than t less than 3 Zero when t greater than three. Express f of t in terms of unit step function and hence find Laplace transform. First, you have to express this function in terms of unit step function, and then apply Laplace transform to find the solution. Now we'll do this. Okay, so slowly try to understand this. Laplace. Okay, so. f of t is equal to hmm? f of t is equal to here first we'll write what is f1 of t f1 of t is e to the power of minus t 
what is f2 of t that is 0 what is a a is 3 here okay now applying that f of t is equal to formula f1 of t plus f2 of t minus f1 of t into u of t minus a for two functions f1 of t f2 of t this is the unit step function so f1 of t is e to the power of minus t plus f2 of t is 0 minus e to the power of minus t then uh, u of t minus 3 this is f of t ok so this is again uh, e to the power of minus t plus into minus is minus e to the power of minus t into u of t minus 3 this is f of t this is nothing but what means express f of t in terms of unit step function means this is the solution ok so this is the first result this is over next we have to apply Laplace transform now taking Laplace of f of t Laplace of e to the power of minus t minus e to the power of minus t into u of t minus 3 applying Laplace on both the sides we get like this now using the linearity property I'll apply Laplace for each term so Laplace of e to the power of minus t into u of t minus 3 ok u of t minus 3 now this uh, uh, this is Laplace of e to the power of minus t this is using what means using the linearity property using the linearity property we got it now what is the next step so you have to simplify this now you people observe this observe this one here Laplace of e to the power of minus t u of t minus 3 since it is u of t minus 3 it is remember that what means a besides unit step function only or unit step function unit step function means a coefficient of this one is e to the power of minus t so this term is nothing but treated as a f of t minus 3 so here f of t minus 3 is equal to e to the power of minus t ok remember this f of t minus 3 is e to the power of minus t so what is f of t means put t is equal to t plus 3 put t is equal to t plus 3 if it is t plus 3 means put t is equal to t minus 3 like that so put t is equal to t plus 3 so f of t plus 3 minus 3 is equal to e to the power of minus of t plus 3 remember this 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 get cancels f of t is equal to e to the power of minus of t plus 3 ok so why I am using this one means you know Laplace of e to the power of minus t minus you know this formula e to the power of minus as f bar of s e to the power of minus as a is 3 3 s into f bar of s otherwise Laplace of f of t Laplace of f of t is nothing but e to the power of minus of t plus 3 so using what means uh, just how uh, I explained to you people in the note, uh, note number 3 ok according to that uh, so what is that means uh, Laplace of f of t minus a into u of t minus a can be written as e to the power of minus a is f bar of s otherwise Laplace of f of t now everything is ready Laplace of e to the power of a t means 1 divided by s minus a 1 divided by s plus 1 then minus minus e to the power of minus 3s into ok so what is this one now means uh, Laplace of uh, e to the power of minus t into e to the power of minus 3 so this is 1 divided by s plus 1 uh, ok 1 divided by s plus 1 minus of uh, this e to the power of minus 3 is common take, uh, this constant uh, take it outside uh, e to the power of minus 3 minus 3s ok so this is then uh, into Laplace of e to the power of minus t this is 
using what means uh, again using the okay so linearity property only using the linearity property we get this now what happens 1 divided by s plus 1 minus of e to the power of minus of 3 into s plus 1 okay s plus 1 divided by this is laplace of e to the power of minus t means 1 divided by s plus 1 so that is this now final answer is what means uh, okay 1 minus e to the power of minus of 3 times of s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 this is your solution so this is laplace of f of t so your final answer is 1 minus e to the power of minus of 3 plus 1 uh, 3 times of s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 this is your answer now we'll go to the next problem so what is that means sir uh, the given problem is f of t is equal to 0 for 0 less than t less than pi by 2 sin t for t greater than pi by 2 express f of t in terms of unit, fun unit step function and hence find laplace of f of t so f1 of t is here 0 f2 of t is here sin t a is here pi by 2 so f of t is what means f1 of t plus f2 of t minus f1 of t into u of t minus a so 0 plus sin t okay minus uh, f1 of t is 0 into u of t minus pi by 2 a is pi by 2 so this is f of t now this can be written as sin t into u of t minus pi by 2 this is this is f of t now this is your express the given function in terms of unit step function means this this is your answer but question is next one is find laplace of f of t so how to find that laplace of f of t we have to apply laplace on both the sides laplace of sin t u of t minus pi by 2 okay so this is the next is what means uh, laplace of sin t into u of t minus pi by 2 so t minus pi by 2 can be written as okay can be written as here this is f of t minus pi by 2 f of t minus pi by 2 so tomorrow u of t plus 3 and uh, that means uh, t minus of minus 3 you will get that so remember like that uh, then what is this one means f of t minus 3 like that you should think okay so very simple it is so sin t now now i want to remove this minus pi by 2 so how to remove that one put t is equal to t plus pi by 2 then what happens f of t plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 is equal to sine of t plus pi by 2 okay now this and this get cancels f of t is equal to sine of this one you write it like this pi by 2 plus t so 90 degree plus theta like that so 90 plus theta means which quadrant it is so second quadrant so therefore what is this uh, if it is first quadrant means all are positive uh, so 90 plus theta so 90 plus theta means so that is nothing but because of 90 degree sign changes to cos cos t okay so cos t this is so this is we have to write here e to the power of minus pi by 2 s yes, into laplace of sine laplace of sine of t plus okay f of t means uh, sine of pi by 2 plus t this is 
that is nothing but f of t so e to the power of minus pi s by 2 okay pi s by 2 into laplace of cos t e to the power of minus pi s by 2 laplace of cos t means uh, s divided by s square plus 1 square so this is uh, s into e to the power of minus pi s by 2 divided by s square plus 1 this is your solution this is laplace of f of t laplace of f of t so s into e to the power of minus pi s by 2 divided by s square plus 1 okay this is your answer